Well, I think I have a bit of a problem. In here, you will not find dog's toys or dog's prescriptions or cat's collars or anything like that. That's actually coming from eBay, just like it says there on the tape. And what we have in here is two more of these guys. Yes, two more, even though I already have two here. But I'm just looking for kind of that perfect one so I can be done with this whole thing. Um, this one was the first one I bought. I bought it for a hundred bucks. And uh, that was a VA panel. It was supposed to be like grade A. You know, now that I think about it a little bit more, it was pretty dented and stuff. So it was kind of a bad buy. This one was a better buy. It was the, the LG. IPS model, which is the desirable one, and it's a little hair faster, it seemed like, for some reason. I don't know. I thought uh, they'd be about the same, but it was a little bit faster, but it had a dead pixel right about there that was sort of annoying. So I contacted this guy, and I'm like, hey, do you have any more of those? And he's like, sure, I got two left. Do you want them? And I'm like, okay. So he made a posting specifically for me on eBay. The crazy thing is the shipping, if you went through eBay, was like a fraction of the cost than if you didn't go through eBay. So for whatever reason, I had to go through eBay. So anyway, it's been sitting here for, oh man, a couple of months. And uh, it's time to, I've had so much stuff going on. It's time to get this thing open. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them up against each other. I have a four-way splitter and I'm going to just display the same image through the four, through, oh, can't talk, through the four-way HDMI splitter and then I'm gonna pick the best one and the other one, I'll probably pick the best two and keep, keep the second one, I can't talk anymore, keep the second one as a backup and then the other two I'll probably just sell or something. Uh, um, they just kept getting cheaper, 100 bucks, 50 bucks. Uh, and these were slightly cheaper than 50 bucks because they gave me a deal. And I didn't even mention, I found a fifth one. It's like I couldn't find any of them, right? So I ended up paying 100 bucks for this one, but then I don't know, right right after I got this, or right after I ordered it, but maybe hadn't received it yet, I found another one on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. And oh my God, I, I got so close to pick it up. I'm like, no, I gotta stop. I gotta have some restraint. I don't need four of these. I don't even need two of these, but here we are. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time with the unboxing. I'm just gonna pull them out and then we're gonna check them out. Really, I'm looking for physical defects because I imagine that these three, which are all LG IPS panels, are probably gonna be very similar in performance. So just kind of a cosmetic thing, make sure that there's no dead pixels on the one I decide to use as my primary and you know, pretty much go from there. Anyway, let me uh, get this box open so we can got, get this test started. It should be a short video. I mean, I've already wasted about three minutes of your time. So let's get going. All right, so I got them out of the box and they look pretty good as far as the case themselves. I mean, they've got blemishes and stuff, but this stuff all came from business offices, right? So they were used for quite a while and I'm sure that they've been in storage for a while too. But um, anyway, let's take a look at the revision numbers. This one's an A05 and it does end, let's, let's see if we can get the macro lens, there we go. It ends with an L, that means it's an LG panel. And it was manufactured in May 2008. So this one is also an A05 LG panel. And this one was manufactured probably the same, same year, close, nope, 2010. So that's interesting because that means that for two years, they didn't have any revision. And that one is the newest one I have. That one's an A07 from 2011. So from 2010 to 2011, they had two revisions. So I'm not sure what the last revision was made, but I wouldn't be surprised if A07 on that one there was the absolute last revision because 2011 is pretty late. I think the first ones of these were like 2006. So if they made them for five years, that, you know, that's why there's so many of them out there. If they made it for five years, that's a long time for a piece of technology, um, even a monitor. But uh, yeah, these um, stands, the only interesting thing about these is they support different versions of Dell monitors. You can see this one is marked as a 2000 FPB. There's also a wide version, 2000 WFPB, and a 24 inch, looks like, and 24 inch, two other 24 inches that are both wide. This one doesn't have, it has, it like has one less, but they look identical. I'm sure that uh, they both will work just fine with any of those monitors. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the revision, let's uh, 
Let's get them all hooked up and compare them. All right, so I got all four set up on the HDMI splitter and then all going from HDMI to DVI. Right now I have the SNES version of the 240p test suite up and running and I have just a pure white background for now. I wanted to check to see if I could find any dead pixels or any anomalies with the monitor itself or at least the colors or pixels or anything like that that was kind of out of whack. Um, you might be already able to tell that one is the brightest. This is the VA panel. This is the original first LG IPS panel that I got. And this is the one of the two that I recently got. And you can already see between these two, even though they're both IPS, you can definitely tell that's the brightest. This one's a little darker, almost a little yellow, kind of tinged. And I made sure that I went through the menu options. I'm not going to bore you by doing it, but I went through every single menu option and set them all exactly the same, exactly the same brightness, exactly the same settings for color, everything exactly the same. So any differences that you see are actually due to the physical monitor itself. And this one here probably looks about as bright as that one, maybe a little tad brighter, certainly looks much brighter compared to this one. But if I had to go in order, that's definitely the brightest, the VA panel, then this IPS, then this IPS, and then this IPS. So it does make a difference. I mean, normally you wouldn't go out and buy four of them, <laughs> but if they're cheap enough, maybe you buy a few like I did and see which one looks best. Now, this is just a white screen and I, I went through and I could not find the dead pixel on this one. I went through and um, also cleaned all of them and made sure that there was no little specks of dust anywhere. But I swear there was, this one had a dead pixel. I don't know if it was just stuck and it got unstuck or it was, I think it was just a stuck pixel actually. I can't remember what color it was, but I guess it just went away because this one is, I could not find any dead pixels on any of the colors. So this is white. Let me show you the other colors. Oh, well, that's just straight black. <clears throat> Here we have red, right? And the red, you can tell this does look a little darker. Looks much close. I mean, you can tell more on the white that this one is a little bit darker, a little bit more yellow than the rest, but they all look pretty good. I could not find, again, a dead pixel on this one at all on any of the colors. And I luckily did not find any dead or stuck pixels on this at all. This one had kind of a smudge there that I didn't know if it was a you know physical damage to the screen itself, but it turned out to just be really crusty crap that I just got a little water on there in a soft cloth and it came out eventually. But yeah, they all look like this, the monitor parts, the screen parts anyway, are uh, all in good shape. So let's move to green. Yeah, so green looks pretty good in all these. I think if I had to choose my favorite, I would choose this one. It is a little bit darker as it has been on every test. This one is of course the brightest, so it kind of looks a little bit more lime green, but they all look very good. No real complaints here. Let's take a look at the last one here, blue. Now with blue, I feel like it's a little harder to tell the differences between any of these really. I remember these three are all supposed to be the same. They're all three uh, LG IPS panels. This one's the one that's different, but I think this might be closer to these two than this. This one seems to be the most off on all these tests. It's just darker all the way around. But yeah, no, no problems with blue here. And then we're back to white. So yeah, no, no real problems here with the color test. No stuck or dead pixels, no major blemishes or anything like that, that I could notice. So yeah, let's, um, let's start with the lag test and then we'll see if there are any differences between them. Honestly, I kind of expect there to be a little bit of difference even between these three, just because of the color differences, their age difference too, and the different revisions. These two are supposed to be the same revision, but these two look the closest. So I don't know, maybe this one just got worked harder. Anyway, let me fire up the lag test and I'll take some photos and we'll compare them.
All right, so that lag test was pretty consistent. I let it run for a while, took different screenshots or snapshots, pictures, photos, whatever, at uh, different times, let it run for a few minutes, took some more, and it was pretty consistent. The VA panel is definitely at least a frame slower than the three IPS panels. I was a little surprised that all of them, even the revisions, the differences didn't seem to matter. This one being a little darker didn't seem to matter. They all performed about, not even about, exactly equally. Every time I took a photo, it was always exactly on the same frame. I even took some photos where it caught it between, like it was switching frames and they were all exactly the same. So let me just show you that there's a little bit of a difference when you power them on. They come up at different points. See the VA panel came up first, then this one and these other two. And then when you load up a core, let's load up, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's load up, uh, how about, let's do, let's do Super Nintendo again. You can see it kind of, oh, that one, they come up pretty, pretty closely there. Slight difference. Yeah, let's do the turtles in time. So, wow, like, see how, th how much slower that one was to switch? So I'm thinking this one is probably the best, but they're all, I mean, especially these three, as far as performance, they're all really close. And if you look at, let me, let me kind of get straightaway shots. Um, they're all really good. You know, in one frame, it's not too crazy. Wow, this crazy background splashing. Um, yeah, this one I think is my favorite. That'll probably probably be my go-to for now. And they're all good though. Like I would be comfortable playing with any of these, even the VA panel. Although the VA panel, let me see if I can get it to to a maybe like a pause screen or something where it's the same screen all the time. It's a, so I have scan lines on, I have the medium scan lines, the default, or not the default, the preset scan lines. And I think it looks fantastic. So it, it puts just enough that it makes it look good, but not too much that it's super, super noticeable. But yeah, they're, uh, let's take a close look at Leonardo. They're all really good. These three are IPS again. So let's, let's the, these these are close together. So let's take a let's see. That's the VA Leonardo and the IPS. It's a little bit different on colors, but it's super super, just barely there. It's like very superficial. So yeah, let's uh let's run the game here. It's kind of unfair to do it this way because these are these outside ones are at an angle because I wanted them face facing me. But yeah, they're all they're all really good. I was playing earlier. I was playing Robotron, which is a, a game that requires very quick reflexes and input would really destroy your game on Robotron. And I was doing fairly well. I would I would be comfortable playing Robotron on these monitors. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that is the test of four 2007 FPV monitors. I hope you enjoyed it. Final conclusion, I would say definitely go for the IP IPS one if you can. If you only have access to the VA one, I think it's completely, totally fine. Unless you're comparing them side by side, you probably, you probably won't even notice. And you certainly won't notice one frame of lag, especially when you have nothing to compare it to. Um, but yeah, if you can find these for 50 bucks or less, definitely pick one up. Definitely get that little speaker if you do, though. You can, I don't know if they're still available, but you can find them on eBay. I have another video on that uh, for like less than 15 bucks. They're superb. So yeah, I think uh, I'm going to stay with that with my primary, and that one will probably be my backup. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.